Okay, my name is Santiago and today we are going to do some tango training session. We are going to start with the warm-up that might be the most important thing when we are going to work with our body. It doesn't matter that in tango we are not sweating, if not that we need to be precise. And to this we have to be in our 100%. If we want to be as accurate as we want, as flexible as we want, as strong, as fast or as slow, like to have total control of our body, we should be in a 100% of our possibilities and we are going to make that with a really, really good warm up. We are going to start from down to up. So we start with the ankles. We are going to start doing around eight rounds to each side. This will help us to have more flexibility, to improve our move, the precision of the move, to um, uh, gain some temperature in our body, we need to, our body to be warmer than, than usual and as well we'll improve the blood circulation, okay? That's why we do eight to each side, slowly, warming up, it's a matter of patience, so this will help us to be focused as well. If we have, for example, a performance, this can be part of our routine, of daily routine. We are focusing, we are trying to think about what we are doing now. Only knees, up and down, eight times or ten. As well, this is personal, so you can choose how many times you feel more comfortable. Now rounded, doing knees, ankles and hip. It's a really, really nice routine to relax to stop thinking about the daily things, just focusing on what we are going to do next, or even better, what we are doing now. So being conscious about the things we are doing and about our move. Now we are going to go with the hip, okay? This is helping us a lot, for example, in pivots and dissociation. Now to the other side. Trying to be conscious, of course, might be possible that from one side you are better in the other. So that you should work on. Now a bit to the torso. Always trying to keep a breath rhythm. You can as well go farther and faster. Meanwhile, you feel that you are better. Now shoulders. Trying always to go back. Remember that guys, mostly, we have this muscle, the pecs, shortened. So we should work really in this. Now to the front as well. This is helping to relax as well the neck, that in general we are stressed for the daily routine. So you will feel the difference. One and one as well. Working co consciously that we have two sides of the body and both should work in the same, okay? So to adjust all our moves, it's important. Now open, this will be helping us to be more flexible in our pecs and as well to warm up. You should be feeling how the temperature is going up and up. Now up and down. So well, some of the back muscles are moving here. Now we go round it to the front. To the back. Check if you feel some pain in somewhere. And if you really do, maybe consult the doctor now. Hands as well are not less important. Imagine that your partner is feeling the warmth of, the, of your hands and as well you are touching their backs. So it might be nice to have not only because of health, if not of the feeling we are going to have with the partner. Now the neck, trying to relax all the muscles. It's a time for you to check, to breathe, see where you should adjust.
Okay. Planck is called this, no? So we are going to be around 20 seconds. If for you this is really usual and really easy, you can separate a bit your legs and start going one arm really slowly, really controlled, and the other. Okay? Be aware of your posture and around 20, 30 seconds, and then we rest. We are going to go to the side. Here you can choose being with one leg in front of the other or both in the same place. Now, try to be as straight as you can. If you are not aware how straight are you, you can check with your own phone, take a picture, make a short video, so you are sure that you are not going with your head to the front, with your ass to the, to the back, just to be as straight as you can. As well, if this is too easy, we go down and up, down and up. So here we are working out as well, meanwhile we warm up. And then we are going to do to the other side. Try to be always equal. If you work 30 seconds to one side, 30 seconds to the other. Okay. So in this case, we are going to be all the time working the whole body. You can as well go here or lift the leg, make some moves. This it depends on your ability, your stability, and how fit are you in these kind of things. Now we are going to do back plank. So we are going to go hard the gluteus, okay? Always using the breath, breathing normally and slowing down the breathing is good. You can have your hands up or down if you need more stability. You can do, if you have a platform, put your feet in the platform so you are doing more in stability and improving as well your stability. Okay, this part could be repeated three times to warm up properly. Now, this exercise, you should be careful if you have any back problems, maybe skip them because it can be dangerous. But if not, you can try. We are going to go in the front, the back, and then to stretch. So we are going to stretch our legs as well as our back. Okay, and of course, Warming up, that is our main goal in this session. So be conscient, breathe normally. Now we are going to do a round move from one feet to the other, trying to stretch as much as we need. This warm up can be good not only if you want to dance tango, maybe when you are going to the gym, you can try to warm up like this before the training. You see that you are going to improve your performance. We were doing this in the basketball team, so as well, it's a universal warming up. And now, if you want to stretch a bit more your pecs, that remember sometimes we are shortening this because in the gym it's much more nicer to go and do like this than to work our dorsal muscles. I will suggest to you to have a piece of rubber. So we are going to stretch this, doing a slow move. You are going to feel how we stretch all the pec Always mixing, stretching with breathing is really good. When you lower down, you, you exhale. If you don't have this kind of rubber, maybe a piece of rope can be good. As well, it can be a stick. The rubber is giving you the possibility 
to stretch more because of its elastic property is pulling you as well. Anything that after this you are you are going to be ready to dance well. <laughs>